Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another manicure to share with you. I'll be doing some stamping today. I have started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat on this here manicure. And this beautiful polish is Madame Glam's Why Couldn't It Be Follow the Butterflies. This is a um, line from Harry Potter, and look how gorgeous. Look at this. This is just... <laughs> uh. And then I have topped it off with some posh top coat. And since this was, why couldn't it be followed the butterflies, I decided to stamp some butterflies. I got this plate. It's got all kind of different butterfly images on it. And I might use a mixture of them. But this is BP74. Beautiful plate. And I'll be stamping with clean color metallic fuchsia. And clean color metallic purple. I will also be using my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Mo U London Scraper today. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to use these first, and if they're just beautiful, then I'm just going to stick with that. Let's get some of these lights turned so that they're not glaring on the plate. That just makes me crazy when they do that. There we go. So we're going to do like the smushy stamping, I guess that's what you call it. You know, I always have trouble with that every time. So let's get these polishes lined up and do some drops. Oops, sorry, bumping you around again. There we go, slapping people around. And I probably could have shut sight some of that. There we go. That is showing up pretty good. I was kind of worried it might not. You know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, we need to clean this stamping plate off. These are normal polishes. They are not stamping polishes. So I do really, I mean I normally do clean off my plate in between. Um, bouts or rounds or whatever you want to call it, but I definitely do when it's um, regular nail polish because it dries all down in the nooks and crannies. Yeah, I'm liking this design. I think we're just going to stick with it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something different on the ring finger. So far, I'm digging it. And I did wear this polish on its own for a day, you know, and just enjoyed its beautiful, beautifulness. And then I had to run home and do something to it, you know. So that's what us nail stampin' junkies do. Alrighty, and I am cleaning this off on my lint roller in between the stamper and then of course I'm using the, the pure acetone to clean the plate off and this is a mess you guys I'm using different paper towels and I don't think I like them maybe we'll try this other one okay we're gonna try this one on my ring finger It's like the paper towels don't soak up any of the fluff, the stuff, the fluffy stuff, the liquid stuff. There we go. Can't tell much of a difference between the images, but that's okay. See, what's funny is, like, I'll know it's different. <laughs> Nobody else looking at them will be able to tell, but I will know the difference. And these clean color polishes do stink really bad. That is why I only have the magnetics left in my collection. I had to get rid of the rest of them. They, um, they stink so bad. My husband complained about them every time I used them. So I, um, 
I just gave them to someone who could enjoy them. So there we go. All right, I'm going to get ready to do some cleanup. I'll be right back. All righty, I'm back, and I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup here with some tape. And this comes up just amazing with some tape. It's just coming up like a dream, perfectly. There we go, just about done did. All right, and I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush, just to make sure I got it all. Like there, there was a little tiny bit. And there's a little tiny bit. And on some of these, you can't really tell that they're butterflies, especially where they're kind of cut off, but that's okay. I know they're butterflies. So, what do we need to do next? We need to put some top coat on them. And we are going to dim the lights, get it all romantical. There we go, so we can zoom in a little bit. But anywho, we're going to put some posh top coat on these today. And you know, a lot of times when you add the top coat, it makes the stamping pop and then sometimes it kind of makes it disappear so I am really really hoping that it just makes it pop today. We're gonna have to break Woody out. There he is. Get that out. But I knew with this having you know butterflies in the name of the polish that this was definitely gonna have to have some butterflies on it. And I'm really trying to break away from my bad habit of stamping with only white, black, silver, and gold. I'm trying to use other colors for stamping. And hopefully we'll get out of that habit because it's, I mean, a lot of things really do look good that way, but I just want to do different. I don't want to do the same. I mean, I've got a box full of stamping polishes or polishes that I use for stamping. And I would like to use all of them. And we've got to get Woody back out again. Come on, Woody. There we go. And here we are. So here, let me turn this light all the way off. And let's see. See that light coming in the windows bugging. Hang on a second, I can do something about that. Okay, so turning that off did not help. Let's try some light light. It's just not showing up very well. I guess I just got too much bling going on in that gray polish. So, what we're going to have to hope is that my scratch photos turn out really good and you can actually see what I've done here. So, that is all I have. Oh look, there we go. Kind of a little better. That is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.